Hello and welcome to beautiful, warm and sunny Idaho Falls, Idaho, wait a minute, sorry, it's not warm and sunny. Welcome to January in um, Idaho Falls, Idaho. I'm Dr. Brady Weirich. I'm excited to bring you my very latest version of regenerative medicine uh, and, and stem cell therapy. This is the webinar. Um, I made some big changes to this today because of some of the um, testimonials that we've been getting back. And I wanted to make this a little bit more personable, a little bit more applicable to the people that we see, the people that we've helped, etc. So, um, and also I think what we've done, the way we've done it is actually it's 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 cut down on the time that this is actually going to take. So we're gonna, not going to take a, a whole lot of your time tonight. But as usual, I do like to go through the disclaimers. You know, we're only here for educational purposes. I'm not diagnosing. I'm not treating anything. Um, stem cell therapy is not approved by the FDA. It is FDA cleared. They know that we're doing it. They, they have steps that you have to follow to do it correctly. It's just not approved saying we can't say that it's going to treat anything. And because of that approval process, it is not covered by insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, etc. Uh, but we do go through pricing here in the next few minutes. Intermountain Regenerative Medicine is a medically integrated clinic. What that means is by training, I am a chiropractor. Um, as a chiropractor, I cannot put needles in people. So we have a nurse practitioner that does the actual medical treatments for us. I'm just here to educate and show you how that's done and what it is we're doing. We utilize stem cells that are derived from donated human umbilical cords. Um, these cords have given us the safest, most reliable results. Uh, and we've been super happy with how we've done it thus far for the last couple of years. A little bit about me, I'm the clinical director. Again, my name is Dr. Brady Weirich. I spent 13 years in the functional medicine, functional neurology realm. Um, I start, my background is in chronic orthopedic, autoimmune, and neurological conditions. There's my education, went to Weber State, Texas Chiropractic College, Carrick Institute of Neurology, American Functional Neurology, blah, blah, blah. None of that really means anything to you. I realize that. Uh, and basically, I'm just, like I said before, I'm here, I'm educated to, or I'm here to help educate you so you can make an informed decision on what direction you want to go. And then once you and I have a chance to talk, that is when we pass you off to this lovely lady, Sylvia Rife. She's our nurse practitioner. She's what it's all about. I hired Sylvia for one reason. Well, a couple of reasons, but her personality is fantastic. Her bedside manner is amazing. And I hire her because when I asked her how many joint injections she has done, her answer was too many to count. And she has every bit lived up to that reputation. She's been awesome. Uh, one of the stories we're about to tell, well, I'll, I'll get into that. So Sylvia is a great part of our team. We love her to death and we're happy to have her aboard. One of the common things that I get about stem cell therapy is where's the research? Uh, well, we've got several papers listed in our resources tab on our, uh, our website. That's imregen.com backslash resources. They're all there. Uh, but I want to get into the meat and potatoes of this. I want you to meet my dad. This is the very first patient that we ever injected. And when we injected my dad, he, now he's 74 this time, so he's 72. And his knee x-ray, this is not his x-ray, but it looked a lot like this. Here on the, that would be the right side of your screen. No, it would be the left side of your screen if you're looking at it the same way I am. <laughs> Over here on the left side of your screen is a 2.8 millimeter gap between the top part of the knee and the bottom part of the knee. That is a bone-on-bone -bone knee. And what we use regenerative medicine and stem cell therapy for, for the most is our osteoarthritic joints. Bone-on-bone, -bone, especially bone-on-bone -bone knees. So if your space is down to 2.8 millimeters and you're struggling to walk like my dad was, the most common recommendation after you go through the steroids, after you go through the therapy, other minor surgeries, then once you get to the point where you can't walk and you can't sleep, that's when they're going to recommend that you get a knee replacement. So what I'm talking about here tonight isn't just a knee replacement, or it is not a knee replacement, it is an alternative to knee replacement. It helps you to actually grow new cartilage. Um, we've, so we've got papers on that site that I showed you that talks about actually increasing the size of the cart cart cartilage volume. Uh, so basically, here's how it works, okay? Now, you do have an option of using your own stem cells. In dad's case, he was 72 years old, and a 72-year-old stem cells are not going to be as robust as they would if he was, say, 40. So the older you are, using your own stem cells becomes less and less of an option. Now, using stem cells that have come from a donated umbilical cord means that they're going to come from 
a donated or from a healthy mom and a healthy baby. And these stem cells are basically that we call them blank slate cells. And what I mean by that is they are cells that have not been assigned a job. So they're just a cell. So hanging out right now in your bone marrow and your blood vessels, etc. You have these stem cells. Once you get injured, those stem cells, here I'll show you a picture. Once you get injured, those blank slate cells are going to go to the side of that in injury and they're going to do a couple things. They're going to reduce the inflammation. They're going to fight off this thing called apoptosis, which is pre-programmed cell death. They're going to become whatever the tissue is that needs to become and they're going to self-replicate. So they really are your body's own natural reparative mechanism. Uh, we don't like to use words magical because it sounds fruity or whatever, but... If you've seen the things that we have seen in this office, you wouldn't believe them. Um, that's why I'm making this more of a story-based webinar than what I'm used to do, which is more just definition-based. But these stem cells, if you put them into, a, into an encapsulated joint like a knee or a shoulder or a hip, then those cells are going to go to that side of that injury. They're going to start repairing that, whatever the damage has been done, and start regrowing new cartilage. So back to this x-ray. This particular patient got an injection, a 1cc injection of these stem cells into the joint space, and those cells almost immediately start replicating and start growing new tissue. So if you look at that same x-ray, or that same individual had an x-ray taken four weeks later, that 2.8 millimeter space had gone to 5.3. And then four weeks after that, so we're now eight weeks post-injection, it comes goes to 6.1. So that gap had almost doubled because of the new cartilage that's being laid down and it's being grown. So this is one of most of our patients are seen with one injection. Very, very few people actually come back or if they come back is either because they've injured themselves again or they want another area that's done. Uh, but it's a two, one injection and this, the research is actually saying it lasts from between five to seven years. So that's a long time compared to a cortisone shot. You're only supposed to get those about three times throughout your entire life. And they can wear off at who knows what time. These are lasting out to years. So five to seven years. We've seen papers from other countries lasting at 10 to 15 years. And you take someone like my dad that's you know 70 plus years old. That's, that's a lifetime. And there's more stories. We have more testimonials on our website. I encourage you to go there. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of stories on there that are actually pretty cool. So my, in my dad's case, we injected him both of his knees. And his knees did phenomenally well. To this day, we're more than two years later. And he's still got great range of motion, decreased pain. He's riding his bike and he's just going nuts over what we did for him with these particular stem cells. So I want to tell you about Don. Don came to visit me this morning, actually. And this was what inspired this new uh, webinar that we're doing. Don's back looked like this. I know that doesn't look like much on your screen, uh, but to the trained eye, you know, you look at Don. And we're not going to give away Don's age, but, you know, we're talking about a guy here that's late 50s, early 60s. And um, he's a truck driver. So he's going to be sitting in trucks a lot. Not all of them are have good suspension or good seats. And he rode in an especially rough riding truck. And that's what started his acute injury. So by the time we x-rayed his back, it looked more like, well, looked like this. So if you look at this is the vertebrae. This is looking from the front to the back. These vertebrae are supposed to be nice round blocks. Okay? There should be a big gap between these vertebrae and there's just not. You see these concave, whoops, hit the button. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm giving away my secrets here. These concave spaces here are signs that osteoarthritis is forming and we would typically call this a high mileage spine. Um, looking closer, there's disc space that have dropped. His SI joints have an issue. So basically what we did for Don same thing, very similar to what we did for my dad. So with dad, we put this, the injection right into the knee capsule. With Don, we put it down here into the, our nurse practitioner put it down in here to the muscles above, I think his issue was on the left, above that L5 area on the left, one cc. And almost immediately, this guy got relief and he continued to get relief. So he went from not being able to walk normally, not being able to do his job normally, to actually just kind of taking off. And that was just with one injection. And we expect that injection to last a really long time. So what is the number one thing that we use stem cells for? It's osteoarthritis. If your joints are bone on bone, osteoarthritic joints, hips, knees, shoulders, backs, necks, et cetera, we want to talk. We want to have you set up a consultation so that we can, uh, we can help you uh, because that's the number one thing that we're helping people with. So that's Don's particular case. He's doing awesome. The last one I'm going to tell you about tonight is Ruth. Ruth. Her story honestly makes me kind of, it makes me cry. 
Um, I wasn't, you know, people will come into me with particular conditions that I've never heard of before. And Ruth was no different. So Ruth comes in and she's got this thing called, um, let's see if I can remember it correctly. Um, it's not chronic vomiting syndrome. It's cyclic vomiting syndrome. She would puke all of the time. She would wake up nauseous and on a good day, throw up three or four times. On bad days, she'd be hospitalized for weeks because she couldn't stop throwing up. And it destroyed this poor girl's life. And as with any other systemic or chronic condition, I had a conversation with her that basically says, hey, you know what? I don't know if this is the answer for you. I don't know if this is going to help. It's a complete, the, the biggest risk here is that nothing happens at all and it's, it becomes a financial risk. But if you're willing to take that risk, then you might have a chance this is going to help you. So I told uh, Ruth today that I think she won the lottery, uh, which is not really a fair statement because the lottery, the chances of winning the lottery are very, very minuscule for her chances for this to work for her. Uh, we're talking more about a, about a 50% chance and it's certainly done wonders for her after eight years of this issue mild nausea. She's down to mild nausea. She had a couple setbacks under some stressful conditions that I think would make anybody sick. Um, but she's done phenomenally well. She's excited. She's got this new lease on life. So basically, here's what we did for her. Uh, we use something called stem cell exosomes. They've been in the news a little bit lately. Uh, but these stem cell exosomes are the chemical messengers that come from stem cells that we can actually use for IV therapy. And so we use stem cell exosomes with her. Uh, because it was a, a systemic issue that we basically, we did an IV for her. And you can see here, we use these for systemic autoimmune conditions. We use them for pulmonary issues. We use them for, we have people come in and get them for overall health and wellness because it gives them more energy, hair regrowth, skin regeneration, bladder incontinence, and even sexual dysfunction for men and women. So if you look at what we use, the main thing we use stem cells for, it's those osteoarthritic joints. But when it comes to everything else, it falls into that stem cell exosome uh, condition or exosome realm and where we fit in that whole thing is 100% up to you that's why you know the whole purpose of this tonight is I hope you set up a, 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 a consultation with me so we can talk about your particular case so we can figure out how to help you so what is stem cell therapy it's the use of these stem cells to help with chronic disorders how long will res results last 10 to 50 well 7 I will tell you five to seven years, but I won't look you in the eye and tell you any number because everybody's different. I'm just saying what the research says. Insurance companies do not cover them. The only side effects that come from stem cell therapy is the chance that it just may not work. We've yet to have a negative reaction with these. Um, success is really determined by you, what you're hoping to accomplish. We've had you know, 80 something year old women only get 85% re results and weren't happy with that, uh, which I still to this day don't understand, but um, that's really determined by you. We'll discuss that in the consultation. Why you shouldn't consider a um, stem cell therapy. The only reason why you shouldn't is if you're expecting too much, and we'll talk about that. So that takes us to what is the cost. Um, the cost starts at $42.50 per joint. Okay, so if you do one joint, it's $42.50. If you do two, it's $67.50. Exosomes are a little bit more because they're bigger vials, so they're about $57.50. Facial start at around $1,300. And hair regrowth starts about 57.50. But uh, right at the end of last year, we were able to run a 20% off um, discount because of the lab. The lab came to us and said, hey, it's the end of the year. We want to help you. Here's a discount. And I just went ahead and applied that to everybody. They came to me last week and said, hey, we're going to do the same thing through January. So if you get this done in January, we can still offer you that 20% discount. And then you can see that's uh, that's a pretty big chunk of seeing how much stem cell therapy costs. So um, our cash, our payment options, we, we do offer cash discounts. You can use um, credit cards as well. Third, we do a half down free payment -ish deal. We have care credit. We have ways of financing this for you. We don't want to turn you away uh, because of the money aspect by any means. Uh, so we do have a lot of different options of how you can pay for it. The next thing is to go ahead and schedule that uh, consultation. We do these either over the phone or in the office, depending on what's most convenient for you, what you're most comfortable with. We do charge for those consultations, so they are $79 if you schedule it today. Um, but we'll take that $79 and apply it right into the actual cost of the therapy should you proceed forward. So all we want to do is talk. Is it right for you? Does it apply to you? Let me make my best recommendations. Let you decide what's best for you and your family. 
I want to answer all your questions and then we take it from there. As I said, I'm going to keep it really short tonight. Um, these, the questions are typically answered best if we can just sit down and have that consultation and make it one-on-one -on -one for you. So go ahead and click on the uh, consultation button and we'll look forward to getting you on my schedule so we can chat. Thanks a lot, guys, and we will see you very soon.